Oh, hello there. You caught me just putting the finishing touches on this large box of stuff. Let's just pop these last bits in. Plenty of bubble wrap. Make sure it's nice and snug. What could be in the box? Let's seal it up. Perfect! Simon, here you go. Thank you very much, Simon. <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Simon from Fingers on Plastic and this video is an unboxing. You know how you have like a certain budget for your figures each month? And then when that budget is done, it's done. So, you know, I did all the good things. I snoozed Kapow's Marketplace. I snoozed the TF sales. Uh, so, you know, none of these temptations were coming up in my Facebook timeline. Then I get a private message to uh, a group, the, the Primetime TV group, and it's Mr. Odd, and he's saying he's selling some figures. It's like, you know, what, what do you guys think? So he... Um, puts up a bunch of pictures and it's mostly Titans Returns and Powers, Power of the Prime stuff and it's like oh, as it goes I'm probably going to be looking to sell most of my Titans Returns and Powers of the Prime stuff because I no longer have room for, for it it's, it's taking up space for other things so it's like no problem there and then Paddy jumps in and sort of steals Simon's thunder and um, sells a bunch of things. <laughs> and that made me chuckle. But then he put up some more pictures. Then he put up some more pictures. Ooh, look at that, all nice and snug. Um, oh, and those pictures, they turned my head. As you know, I've got big love for Transformers Prime. It's probably my favourite animated Transformers Prime. I love G1, always will. Do another video about this the other day, but Prime is pretty much my favourite. But there are some holes in my collection. Not anymore. Let's see what Simon has sent me. Ooh, ooh, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Oh, nice Vehicon. So you can never have too many Veercons. Um, every time I see a Veercon, I pick it up. Because, what well, you need some, don't you? I already have a rubbish bag ready for the bubble wrap. <laughs> a ridiculous bag of guns, hammers, claws, you know. The accessories, which quite frankly, I go, oh, it's an Ikea bag. It's a bit fancy, isn't it? When I get bags like this, um, I just tend to go to Sainsbury's and get, you know, those cheap freezer bags. Ikea ones? Uh, oh, 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 oh. oh, so many goodies. I'm just going to reach in and pull them out. Nurse. <laughs> I've got something in my eye. <laughs> Trying to identify them as I pick them up. It's, it's just, oh, I really, this so nearly completes my um, collection. It's untrue.
Now oh, I don't know if I'm going a little bit crazy, but she seems to be slightly different colour to the one I have over there somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. Again, I like this. It's it's a mould to me where they've made a transforming motorbike that sort of works. I think this motorbike looks great. Uh, I don't know what looks all right. Now I'll know that there's there's um, just, what's by it? there's no Optimus Primes coming because obviously Simons don't part with Optimuses, but they do part with ooh, another Magnus, slightly different mold. I think this is the uh, the better mag. I can't remember. This. Yeah, I think this is the Magnus mold. That's a bit better than the other one. Bits and stickers. I'm not sure what they're for. Oh my goodness! What's this? <laughs> it's a build your own Megatron! I was not expecting that. Oh well, we'll have to, um, I'll keep that separate and we'll, um, we'll look at that. Uh, that'll be a separate video, that. <laughs> well, I do like surprises. Thank you, Simon. Yeah. Oh, this is a great figure. Um, it's better wrap than most things, so it's going to slow me down a little bit. This, I still think this is one of the best wheeljack figures available. It's like Generations wheeljack was alright. Earthrise Wheeljack, not bad, but I still think this one is better. I love this figure. So good. Oh, that's who I think it is. We'll save that one for a little bit. And oh, what that one? Ooh. I'm going to say ooh a lot because I'm, I'm really quite happy and excited about all of this because when you buy a new figure and it comes in, you take a bit of a gamble. Like when I picked up Grapple, for example, Earthwise Grapple, it could have been terrible, but I was lucky and it's great. All these figures I know I like, so it's really good. Cliffy J. That's beautiful vehicle mode. It's packed in there. Also a great figure. I love this figure. One of my favourite characters in the show, just because he's so funny. He steals just about every scene he's in. Do you think... Do you think, it being the 10 year anniversary of Prime, that we'll get uh, the DVDs re-released? Because that would be nice. That would be very, very nice. Yeah, 
sort of green. <laughs> what is this? Some sort of lobster. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's cool. <laughs> oh my god, look at it. It will put that with the, the special surprise Megatron. Good boy. This was another need. So I didn't collect most of the beat hunters like the alternate modes, but I did want to get this bad boy. Oh, oh has he got some sort of Head banging mechanism. These all spikes and oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Oh, another one I need. Now, I know there was some flack from the fandom because they recolored him, and they're not his colors, but he's still a great figure. A great looking toy. I've not had this or played with this one before. Looks fantastic. There will be a, another video to, to go along with my TF Prime videos previously. I've already said that I'd like a, a re release of the Blu rays DVDs. Ooh! Another need. It is. Another one of my favourites from the show. Bulkhead. <laughs> uh, we know when the scraplets come and he gives that girly scream. Cracks me up every time. Oh, look at this Paddy. Oh, but Paddy's got the wants right now so bad. because Paddy has a thing with green. Primes, Springers, RCs, and green figures. If you ever want to get Paddy a gift, that's sort of his jam. Get us a nice helicopter mode. And I think that, yeah, the blades are in the, um, the bag of doom. I've got one of these, Ooh. but it's still in the box. I've not opened it, so it's really cool to have. So I'm going to spend, once I've finished work, a large portion of my weekend playing with these, quite frankly. Oh, <laughs> he is a monster, monster in the cartoon, and I... I quite like him being a monster. It is, of course, Shockwave in his death tank. Oh, that's glorious. That's really cool. Open up things and... No, does it? <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. He's a badass in that, and I, oh. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, I knew something was missing off what's his chops. It's also beautifully wrapped. If you buy from Simon Odd, it's gonna come wrapped. 
course, makes for a very slow unboxing video, but who cares? We'd rather have protected figures, right? Because am I going to edit? Probably not. Oh my goodness, look at these wings. Beautiful, beautiful wings. Oh, oh, oh. That is, death is coming to town. Aggie, Aggie. <laughs> it's Starscream. Again, I, uh, I love this figure. The Transformers Prime toy line was absolutely fantastic. Um, one thing I'm going to need to do to stop screaming there though is I'm going to have to get a sharpie and put some red on that crest on his head. It's, oh, it's so cool. Uh, oh, I believe it's one of the twins. Yeah. I just stabbed myself in the hand. What excitement to see. Dreadwing or what's his chops? I can't remember which way around they go. He has a slight tickle, 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 hands on his butt, but um, yeah, that's a chunky looking beast. I do like these figures. And of course, when you've got one, you have to have the other. Both of these are needs missing from my collection. Same with green because they're twin brothers, aren't they? Oh, love it. Near the end, Some absolutely awesome figures there. <laughs> Another Magnus. <laughs> So one for customization, absolutely. And now we're getting to the main events for me. The last two, the last two. I came so close to getting one of these at TFN. And I, it was funny, I was picking up a wheel jack and whilst I was picking up a wheel jack, somebody else was picking up this figure. And then I went to look for this figure. Why well, that person? Uh, it's the girl that does the Optimus Prime cosplay. She then went to look for a wheeljack. It's Ratchet. Uh, my favorite version of Ratchet is TF Prime Ratchet. Cause you know, hey, I needed that. Love it. And I've, I've just had no luck finding one since. And last, but by no means least, again, one of my favorite versions of the character, we have we have Soundwave. I, I love the bit in Prime, you know, when Soundwave's just hopping off through the roof and uh, Nico snaps a picture of him on the phone and he turns around and snaps a picture back. And then when they fight, he's all just like, da -da -da -da. this figure has been near impossible for me to find. Uh, so yeah, I am super happy. 
So that is my haul. So this is actually my, um, this is basically 99.9% .9 of what I was going to be looking for at TFM. The only figure I now need from Prime is Breakdown, voiced by Adam Baldwin. I need a breakdown. And then that is my Prime collection actually finished, apart from, you know, they're the re releasing some of the knockoffs. Some of the knockoffs, sorry, I really, really see. And so, like that APC Prime, which wasn't great, but wasn't bad. You know, I'll be getting those. But um, yeah, some absolutely wondrous figures here. Thank you very much, Simon. Sounds weird saying that. All right, that's it. We're done. on plastic.